another day, another storage unit to pick up here. This one is actually a pod. If you don't know what a pod is, well, there they are. It's one of those things. They got to get it down for me. I paid $160 for this one. Um, it's a pretty good deal. Um, not all the way full. We'll see exactly when they bring it out here and they open it up. A um, little bit different day. It's Saturday. I usually don't load stuff on Saturday, so I don't really have much help today and i worked her till late last night leah she's at the store working because it's saturday we're busy we have auction pickup and then just a lot of customers in the store and my enclosed trailer is full u-hauls there's no u-hauls available they're all rented right now i rent them myself and all of ours are gone so i got my just open trailer and i got the truck to put stuff in but mostly trying to put stuff into this open trailer here hopefully it'll fit and I can squeeze some stuff in the back here. Some small loose items and stuff, but I'm just waiting right now for them to get it. Oh, and here's another thing about this unit. Went in there to pay. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot of money. It was $160. I still owed, because Storage Treasures, they took their percentage, their buyer's premium and everything out initially straight off of my card. I still owed $153. But the lady, you know, she, you know she said okay we're good to go she's gonna get down i was like don't i still have to pay for the unit she's like no normally you don't and i'm like are you sure because i've never paid for this unit they only took 40 something dollars out that's the buyer's premium and the 10 percent that one whatever the case is whatever they take out and so uh, i had to pull up my bank account and you know they never took the money because i just knew you know i could have been like just rolled with it but I hadn't paid for the unit that wasn't the right thing to do and probably most likely they would have eventually at some point would have realized that i never paid for it they never collected the money for it and been calling me but anyways you know i'm not going to try to stiff them on 150 something dollars definitely but it's funny i could have just got the unit pretty much almost free besides storage treasures getting their cut but just waiting them to um come get this pod they got them stacked up here look at that they got to unbury it out of that building there then we'll get going on this one all right we've got the pod brought over here now as you can see it's eight foot by 16 foot is how big this thing is so i gotta get it all in this trailer i think this trailer is um 14 feet i believe so i think we'll be able to do it but until i open it up and see but it's from the pictures it didn't look like it was it probably looked like it was about half full let me clamp this down here and then we can see It's a pretty big pile of stuff here. Hmm. We got containers right in here. A couple stools. That's a pretty. I couldn't figure out what I thought. I didn't know if it was the bottom of a, like a washer and dryer or what, but it's a refrigerator. The pictures, it was hard to tell. It's laying on its back. Chest freezer, and then I think there is a washer and dryer under that. And then whatever else we found back there. Here's an office chair. Don't know what the seat looks like, but looks pretty nice. A set of, um, one of the weirdest thing is those TV trays right there. That's one of the easiest things in the world to sell is these wood TV trays. It always has been. I mean, it's the quickest, easiest thing. I don't know. I guess they're hard to find out there and everybody wants TV trays. But we got the marble bag. These things, like I've said before, surprisingly, these are worth a couple bucks. If you look them up on eBay. This is a heavy container. It definitely has some weight to it. Oh, right here, the sign. I kind of saw this sign. Fitting the edge of the sign. Interstate 95. Looks like there's a couple more right here. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's like a construction sign. Yeah, the little construction. White signs. But all right, let's see what's in this box here. Okay, that's like office. Dave Green. We got. Look at this guy here. <laughs> All 
right, I'm thinking this is going to, I can already tell this is going to be good just based off of the price. Last time I, I bought one here, it was right over there, it turned out pretty good. They always set them on this side of the building for loading, but man, it's like f freezing over here. We're in the shade. At the moment, there's no breeze, but there's been a breeze and it's, it's freezing over here in this shade. The sun, not too bad over here, cold. And then I just realized I didn't bring a hand truck and I've got like a washer and dryer and stuff like that in there. So I'm either going to have to come back for those or like just try to manhandle them onto the trailer. So we'll see. And I'm by myself. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit harder to manhandle stuff onto here. Probably just had to do two trips anyways because it's being on this open trailer. Dishes and odds and ends. This is a bunch of cords. Hold on a second. All right. Cords and stuff. I'm wondering if there's gonna be um, some computers in here maybe. Office, some of it being office stuff in that box. Got some poker chips here. Poker chips. Here's a Ray Ban case. No Ray Bans in it. And a Batman pouch with a lock. <laughs> and more paper. Okay, hold on. We got like craft stuff down in there but yeah still lots of paper in there so hopefully that's not a trend that it's just going to be because sometimes that happens you just get a unit and it turns out it's somebody that just kept paperwork get this thing closed plus paper is heavy too so got some floor mats I don't know what these go to but it looks like a whole set of floor mats for a car got dry race board bulletin board oh here's another sign let's see sidewalk closed all right let's see what's in this big old Giant tube. It's got got a little bit of weight. Oh, we got a meat slicer. That's good. And what is this? Bamboo steamer. Just curious if that's what's in there. Yep, that is in there. Bamboo steamer. Something wrapped up heavy here. A vase or something. Oh, hold on, you gotta look down at the bottom of this. Okay, <laughs> this <laughs> a little hand mixer, but there's something way more exciting looking down on the bottom of here. Look at these cases down in here. Look, and there's another one right there. It doesn't feel like there's anything in it though. But even if there's not, these cases are valuable. Is there anything under there? No, it's just a solid piece of foam. But that's nice. Got me excited there for a second. Even, like I said, even so, the case is very nice. Baseball glove. All right, I'm going to get... All right, put this thing back in here. Look in this one. 
Right, that one feels empty too, but we will look at it later. And here's a nice little TV wall mount. And I don't know if there's another one under the uh, this side or there is. Look right there. There's two more. Let's pull one of these out and just see. Now it feels empty too. I think they're all empty, but I will check those later just to make sure. But that's still very nice. Four of those cases and then the other stuff the meat slicer or whatever's wrapped up there this the glove oh there's a bowl in here too so that box is good so far and kind of like the other late the least a few units ago very nice container so that oh, i forgot to put this in there containers you make money off of them them also we got a couple stools these are nice yep i can write 160 bucks this is definitely going to be a good one could have got this thing for practically free if i would have done like the lady wanted me to and not paid for it good lord look at this thing Wireless charging stand. Feels like it's in there. Toro. I don't know if you work for Toro. Here's... This is all like office supply, but look at this. Lots of good stuff down in here. Lens cleaner, calculators. Great. No telling. Look at this. Brand new shower head, tape. Oh man, look at this. It was right, I didn't even notice. It's an Ewok little change purse. This is cool. That's cool. Star Wars Ewok. And it's, just, it's a bunch of cords and stuff in here. There's not a camera in that one. But man, there's all kinds of little boxes. That's empty. That's got some a DVD writer. There's just all kinds of stuff down in there. There's a brand new Kate Spade phone case. I think it's gonna be a good one, definitely. Let's go back to this and see if this is in there that is not in there so there's some stuff in here that has empty boxes some stuff does not oh here's a bank bag nothing in that there's a business card holder AT&T box of some sort here's an Apple adapter box it's in there I can see it so we could potentially, oh my gosh, it's like stacks of folders down in there. But they're like not used, brand new folders and stuff. Could end up finding Apple items in here, in the unit. And they got the Star speaking of Star Wars right here, look. There's a, a gift mug set, I can't pull it out now, it's too tight right there. But could potentially have more Star Wars stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely. I'm just definitely gonna just do a t two trips on this. There's, I mean, it's. I don't think there's any way that I was gonna get it in one. And then since I don't have the hand truck, I'll come back for the big stuff. Broken clock. That stinks, but. All right. Oh my god. Holy crap. This is the one that had all the office stuff in it. This thing weighs. Oh my god. This thing. It's got to weigh a hundred pounds. Ugh. Good lord. That is a heavy container. Man. People are crazy. This they'll put so much 
weight into um, some of these boxes and stuff. Here's the window fan. Some kind of Christmas box. It's in there. What is it? Let's see. 11 inch reindeer retreat candle. And 12 inch Santa's house candle. I can hear them in there. Now some of this, this stuff like this, smaller stuff, I'm gonna put up in the truck. And I don't know what that is, but. Look at this. It's a little Christmas train. It's a Datsun. The dogs, I love Datsuns. They all have Datsuns on them, look. I've got a rug the other day that had, it was a Christmas rug with Datsuns. It's just really weird sometimes how you'll get stuff that seeming that matches up from completely different places. And I think that's a picture, like an action. Yeah, I can see it's like a personal picture. But look at this popcorn machine. <laughs> Teamstore.com. Florida State license plate. And a Florida State flip flop license plate. A couple propane tanks. Ooh, that one's. The newer looking one, it feels like it's full. Like it may be completely full. And here's these bad boys we were talking about. Nice little wood set. Now I gotta get some of this off, so because this chair's. I don't know if I pull this, all this is gonna fall or not. So I gotta try to get some of this off first. We have a nice organized bin of hangers. It says kitchen and. I'm going to open it up. You can kind of see in there bowls, colander, oven mitts. I'm going to run into the mill kitchen stuff. We have another one of these little chrome shelves here. Two of them, two nice little chrome shelves. That one was bent, but it kind of bent right back. It was bent in one direction. Okay, that's on something. Oh, it's a table. I see the legs now. Couldn't figure out what it was. This chair looks pretty good. Especially for it being white. It could easily have been stained all up and stuff. But looks pretty good. Duffel bag, maybe? Oh, it's multiple. Casino. Get the bag from the casino. Right, where's the main pocket at? And coat hangers. Hoping it was going to be their casino winnings, but it wasn't. And here's another leather bag. What do you think is going to meet up more coat hangers? Yep, <laughs> that's it.
Is that Justin Bieber? I think, could be wrong, it might be supposed to be Justin Bieber. Maybe, maybe it's not, but that's what it looks like. Tail lamps. LED full function tail lamps. Oh, that's for a um, Wrangler. Jeep Wrangler. Throw pillows. Ditch witch. Ditch witch. We got a skeleton in here. All right, let me see if I can get this desk to move, maybe. Table or whatever it is. Okay, at first I thought the legs were, but I guess it's like a kid's size. Or, okay, I think the legs do adjust, actually. It's just set all the way down. But look what we got back there. Nice big compressor. And then I see several more like pieces of art wrapped up. Maybe it's a Justin Bieber art collection back there. That would be amazing, huh? <laughs> Yeah, this thing, these legs will adjust out. It's an Ikea table slash desk. And they def they had skeletons in their, not really their closet, but their storage unit here. And uh, is there a snake in here? No. What is this? Okay, candles. Just square candles. There's the manual for a Phillips TV. I think that's going to end up being in here. Do we need any sheetrock for it? There you go. What is this? An old heater. An old, is it a heater or a purifier? It's a purifier. It says it looks like a heater. And that sounds like it's full of rocks. That might go with the that out, outdoor, there's an outdoor fireplace cover. So maybe there's an outdoor fireplace in here or they just have pieces and parts for it in here. I don't know what that is. Glass kitchen. And it's got all kinds of numbers on it. It says kitchen. And nice wood shelf. I think there's gonna be two of them. Another one right here. Got a couple pieces of pegboard. table all right now we're gonna get back to this last batch of stuff looks like this is a stool i think the it might be a chair with a an ottoman here we got bags like clothing and stuffed animals and then other stuff and it looks like there's a bunch of artwork it's all bubble wrapped all right there right here and this oh, this might be that tv think it is it's a really thin tv so it's got this like workout padding around it but it's probably that phillips tv it is a tv i just can't really see much of it but i can see right into there that it's a it's a tv and look right there there's a washer and dryer underneath this fridge actually this is not a tv i thought i was seeing a tv but now that i'm looking closer it's a piece of glass like for the piece of uh, furniture it's like a white tinted glass like for the top of a desk or something like that 
And I've kind of been ignoring this up here, but there's something with a sheet thrown out over it up here. Actually, a couple things. Let's see. Some kind of colorful furniture or something here. Okay. Oh, this is cool. From what I can see. Look at this. Actually looks almost, I mean how clean that is in there, looks almost new. It was used very lightly, but this is very nice. July 2016. And then there's another, looks like just a little end table up top there. see that breeze whipping through them trees man like i said it's cold over here i'm warmed up now because i'm moving and working but oh there's something up here it's like a caricature of i guess this is like a personal picture but it's a caricature you really can't it's not an actual picture of them this tape to the bottom here hold on it says a lane what is this some kind of screws there i don't know what for but it's a lane piece of furniture here oh look at that it's got the inlaid top that's nice very nice I'm not sure what those screws are for though <laughs> yeah this is a nice little surprise that was back there that you couldn't see a 21 gallon air compressor two and a half horsepower 125 max psi is what it says it looks like it's in really good shape Kind of getting more stuff undone. I don't know what. This looks like concrete down here. Look at this. It is concrete. I don't know what that makes or is for. Oh, what is this? Oh, I think it's a boat table. I think these. This folds down, yep. There we go. That's cool, look at this. It's a little boat table, and the, the legs are paddles. S-dabs. Let's see it. Oh, Ziploc bags, oh my god, look at all that. It's full of palm olive, all this stuff's new. Furniture polish, trash bags, Ajax, and all these. God, look, look at this more cleaner comet spick and span and it's all new stuff right here this is the Amer this is the american zulu want to be these days way too many want to be something they aren't okay it's like a message somebody gave him <laughs> Don't know if they painted, they bought this somewhere or they painted that for them. It's kind of a cool picture there. Looks like it's um kind of the chalk, not chalk, I don't remember what the term for that, that style of art is, but we got some Converse All-Stars, some Nikes. These chairs out. I'm 
coming i'm doing two trips so i'm trying just to I don't know what happened there try not to stack up too crazy high and just make it more manageable i don't have to stack it all and tie it like crazy and worry about stuff coming off while i'm driving kitchen it says i wonder if there's anything in this trash can back here there's a whole as you can see a whole stack of containers right back here all nice and neat so hopefully there's some goodies back there gosh it's full of bricks holy crap that's gonna be heavy and then I'll <laughs> oh gosh dog oh wait a minute look at this it's like a it's a Datsun you can see it's made out of metal it's a Datsun statue it looks like vases. It's just like a garment, you know, like a suit. Okay, what is this? Maybe it's vacuum sealed clothes in there. This went so heavy. Well, we got some purses. There's some coach, coach purses. There's a Letterman jacket. And yeah, there's like clothing in here, but it's all that's why it's so heavy because it's vacuum sealed, so it's packed so tight in there. I'm almost done. I got to this last container here. It said bricks. I was like, oh Lord, do I not have enough bricks, but it's not, it's other stuff. But all that's concrete and that. I'm getting a little concerned about the weight because there's so, so much concrete along with all the other stuff. Some of these containers are really heavy. The truck, no problem pulling in this. It's just this trailer is, doesn't have the best tires on it and the floor is kind of weak i got boards laying over there i need to redo the whole floor and the tires probably could have used some more air but hopefully i'll be all right i don't have real far to go and honestly from here to there i'm going to go through hiram which is the city near where between here and where the store is and the traffic is so bad right now because that's where all the stores are everybody i guess is you know already christmas shopping and out buying food for thanksgiving which is next week but almost there luckily that went in bricks but i still got all this weight here so that's pretty much it for this unit as far as loading i am gonna there's a lot of boxes that i have not shown here so i'm definitely gonna do an unboxing video but that's it for this one if you like this video you want to see more like this one hit the like button give us a thumbs up that really really helps us out um leave us a comment that helps us too uh, also good or bad and if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button y'all have a good one